So I've got this little unit here. What is it? Here it is. It's a portable power station made by All Power. It's a model R600. And it's got a 299 watt hour capacity, 25.6 volts at 11.6 amp hours. It should be able to take solar connectors through this fellow here. And they have it comes with a solar uh, MC4 connector to this thing, which is an MC60, I think. Is that right? Something like that. No, not MC. XC60 connector. Now, I don't know what will happen, but if I put this pack into it, which is a fully charged or almost fully charged lithium ion battery pack with the same capacity, 280 watt hours roughly at 36 volts. It should go in here because this should take anything 12 to 60 volts. And I just want to do that and see what happens. Let's do that and see what happens. So the thing is turned off at the moment over there. I don't like it if these things spark, but if it's got solar panels on it might spark as well. So let's put that on there starts off at 0.6%, but now it's taken 47 watts input. That's pretty class. Um, it's at 99%. I got this in the post from All Powers. They contacted me and said, you want one of these? You can have it if you make a video of it. And they gave me this thing and the solar panels and the cables and whatnot that came with it. And I just said yes, because I don't know what to do about it. But I, what, what I'm playing with is that it's a 600 watt unit peak 1.2 kilowatts and the peak i don't know if i really want to test that but uh right now it's charging from this battery over here and i'm kind of interested to see what will happen if it you know gets up to the 100 100 because the reality is if you put the solar panel on it once it gets to 100 percent, it's full so somewhere inside this there's probably a similar battery to this one here i'll leave it for a while it says it's uh four minutes to fully recharge so maybe i'll waffle for a few minutes because that could drop when i got it i plugged it in it always starts off by saying zero six and i don't know that it says zero six percent or not i haven't paid attention to that when i got it then originally it was at maybe one percent after a few seconds plugged it in on the main ac line which uh, is a kettle plug charged it up to i don't know 80 percent or something and then took the solar panel out and put it in the sun and finished it off it starts off charging quite slow like 100 watts then it comes up to about 300 watts for the middle range of the battery and then it drops down again towards the end and i don't know if it's the battery output i suspect it's not i suspect it's the machine limiting itself towards the end taking the power less and less but it comes with a 100 watt solar panel I didn't see more than 60 watts out of the solar panel, but it was a pretty overcast day when I tested it. Still on four minutes recharge. Now, it should be possible, meanwhile, to get another charger and run the power through it. And this is what I'm interested in. So I've got this fellow here, which is a Aldi battery charger. Let's plug that in here. I don't think that'll be over 600 watts in a blue moon. And then I've got the Boots Owen Aldi battery here. Let's plug that in here. Click. Now nothing should happen yet because let me see the lights on that on the camera. So let's hold that there. I think if I press this, it should discharge and recharge at the same time. I'm not getting anything out of that yet. Am I pressing it right? Oh, just one click. I held it too long. Now I heard a relay coming on. It's putting out 50 hertz. I've got my green light here. That green light should be flashing. It is. So it indicates that I'm charging this battery. Then the next step for this thing is, if I can find the other part I'm looking for, my friend Nick 3D printed me one of these, which is the receiver for this type of battery. And the idea would be then that if you could have a receiver that has the XC60, I think it was called, coming out here, that you could then plug this battery in there you could infinitely boost the capacity of this fellow because you could charge it up on the, you could charge this up, which would give you, you know, this much batteries worth, you know, it's full capacity. But then each one of these is about 0.1 of a kilowatt hour. So the whole thing is about 0.3, although the manual says it's probably less and it probably is less. You get 0.3 out of it. Then you've got an infinite number of 0.1s. I think I've got five or six of these batteries now. The uh, active energy 40 volt batteries. 
that gives you, if I've got six of them, that gives me another, what would that be? 0.6 of a kilowatt hour. Then you add on one of these, that's another 0.3. Then behind, behind the camera, I've got my e-bike battery. Big Samsung fellow, and this guy, what does it say? Um, 453. 453 watt hours and it's probably not got full capacity because that's quite an old one but it's charging up off the mains at the moment so that is more than well it's one and a half times the capacity so we're up to one kilowatt hour so we're only limited by the output in um in 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 wattage the output and power from this fellow here it's got a couple of other features up on top it's got this little wireless charging thing which we've tested and you just put a phone on it you put a phone on that, but you have to turn on this fellow here with a beep of this to charge your phone. It doesn't work without that, so you have to put your phone on top and then click this one and it goes beep. It's got a light, I think, here, you know, to attract attention. And it's got this 12 volt, 10 amp output, I think. I think I'm pretty sure it's an output, except that it doesn't have an on off switch here for this guy. And there's, it says that you can charge it 10 or 24 volts from the car. Now, I don't know, do you need to then have your own XC60 from the car, from like a cigarette lighter plug to this? Because that'd be useful, because then you can charge it pretty much anywhere. You can always charge it from the mains, but you could charge it from a car on the go or from a leisure battery separate and then put, you know, use it as an inverter. But in this configuration, this is what I was nonsensing with, with my mate uh, Andy, uh, he's at Where's Wally 606. It does seem to work. Now, I know we're running at the 99%, which is a bit silly. So I kind of need to do something, burn a bit of juice off it. It's putting out 89 watts to charge this battery. I might just leave it at that. It's taking in 53 watts on this battery. But I might let it go down to about 50% and give that a go. The solar panel is a foldable solar panel. It's nice and it just works. So right now it's charging 63 watts. The idea would be that you could charge up all those batteries during the day in the sun. They sent it to me for free on the basis that I'd make a video. So it's kind of a shill vid, except that I'm not trying to shill them. Um, there might be a link below, but it might have expired depending on when I put it up. So I don't get anything as far as I know, because I've got no agreement to. Um, if, if they sell any of these, I don't I don't really care. If I was buying one, I would probably buy one with a bigger capacity, but I think they're like two or three hundred quid with the solar panel, which I would never pay for. I, would, I wouldn't pay that at all. Um, I found that pretty much everywhere I've ever been, there's a plug in a wall, and that's how I live my life. And if there isn't, if I've ever been camping, I go camping. I don't bring tons and tons of cigarette lighter, chargeable things and a television and all that. You light a fire if you're camping, and if you need your phone for a few days, you bring a small uh, extra battery pack for your phone that you can charge a USB charger or something. So this thing, because it's only 600 watts, I can't really see the use case for it. If it was like 1.5 kilowatts continuous output, then you can run a lot of different things off it. It also can, like, it can clearly run as an emergency backup. So what it says is you can just put the kettle lead in here to the plug and then plug any appliance into it that's rated up to the 600 watts or a surge of 1.2 kilowatts. And it'll work as an emergency backup. So what I will try is to run my fridge on it. And I'll put that in a different video, I reckon. Because if you can run the fridge on it, you'd be basically leaving this thing as a backup for the fridge or the freezer. And if the freezer, if the power cuts off, well, then this thing should just wake up. It's meant to wake up almost instantly. I don't know if it does, and I'm not going to try it on sens sensitive electronics um, because I can't be bothered. Well, I don't, because I don't have anything that's sensitive. I run a laptop for my computing, so I don't have anything that needs to be on all the time anyway. So I'm kind of made myself resilient in that way. But it is, it is charging, so I'll leave it to and see what happens. See if this fellow gets charged up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make this guy in this video, but that's an ongoing project for e-bikes and stuff to have an output from this. So to put an XC60 connector onto it wouldn't be much of a challenge. I'll come back in a bit. So it's been doing this for about five minutes, and the fans come on. That's all I can say. Nothing more. I'll keep an eye on it. There's a little fan symbol there. Keep an eye on it. But it seems to work in this configuration. It seems to work all right. 
So it's been on about 10 minutes since I checked in last and the input's gone up and the output's gone up and the percentage has dropped and this has gone to 21 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug out this fellow, not because of anything to do with the power station, but because I don't know if this battery has any protection on it. And so instantly the fan has stopped and it's gone to zero input, which you'd expect. And it's saying it's 92% and now it's got two hours to run instead of I think 20 minutes before. So it's calculator's working fine. We'll keep an eye on that it shouldn't take two hours to charge this and given that that's a third of this it should bring it down to about well i don't know that wasn't empty anyways I'll probably check what that has does it have a charging light thing on it yeah it does so it's nearly full there three bars three is full so we'll come back to that when it's done so this has gone green and that's still on let's turn that off I guess that turns it off. It does. I've never, I've never done that before. We're down to 77%, which from 99 to 93 to 77 is quite a bit, but I guess it's quite a bit, you know. Um, charger's a little bit warm. That battery is full. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, so there you go. There's a thermal cutout reset button in there as well. I don't know what else I can show you on this. I'm going to, I think I'm going to have fun tinkering with this thing. That's about it, really, for now. Okay, questions or comments about this, please leave them below. If you've got any ideas for how to test it, tell me about it in the comments also. Join the channel, subscribe to the channel. All these things are appreciated and a like is appreciated too. If you want one of these, uh, what's the name of the company again? All Powers, All Powers dot something on the internet. Uh, there'll be a, a link below to it. I don't think so far, as far as I know, I don't get anything from it. I should show you that again. If you click on the link, I won't get any money for it. But if you want one, go and buy one. Maybe go and buy one with a greater wattage. Maybe check out the competition. I think I'm going to take this apart as well and have a look inside in another video. AC out, product output, input. Yeah, you see, see the way it says car charger 12 24 volt DC. And then output car port 12 volt 10 amps 120 watt max. So there's no car charger input that I can find, unless I'm being completely thick here. But I haven't found one, it's not there didn't come i don't think with a cable for you know carport uh, cigarette lighter to xc60 i didn't see it anyways if it did um if i am going to get money for these i haven't i don't think i am but if i am it'll be written on the description down below if i am that'd be great questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching see you later